Welcome to the extra practice video. This is the extra practice for writing the vertex form equation of a graphed parabola. And you can see an example of a practice problem right here in front of you. This is similar to today's exit ticket, question number three. And the instructions are really simple. It just says to write the equation for this parabola. So right away you recognize that you have a lot of information in front of you. And we'll do the first example with some steps, although ultimately you should be able to do this without steps. The first thing I'm going to want to know in order to answer this question is I want to make sure that I know what my answer will look like when they say the equation or when you heard me say vertex form, you should immediately think, okay, that's f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And instead of worrying right away about how you're going to come up with an answer that looks like that, focus on what you already know. The first thing that I know about a parabola is that h and k represent the vertex. And I can see the vertex of this equation right here. And it's at the point negative 1, negative 3. So that means I already know that h is negative 1 and k is negative 3. I also know that if I'm writing an equation for a parabola, that should mean that any point that's on this graph and on this parabola should satisfy the equation that I write. So I don't know if that's going to be useful right away, but I could try to plug in, and maybe that'll give me a first step. Using what I've got so far, I can say f of x equals a, I still don't know what that is, times x. And notice how a negative h value with a negative from the formula will turn to plus 1. Don't forget the squared. And minus 3. This is pretty close to a final answer, except that that a value, that's still supposed to turn into a number. So here's the sneaky step. you got to go to your graph. And I'm going to pick another point that I recognize on this parabola. Any point you want will work, but this looks like a pretty easy one to use. And this is the point positive 1, negative 1. If this point is on the graph, that means it's a solution. Not just a solution as in a point on the graph, but a solution to this equation. So I should be able to plug in this first one for x and this second negative one for y and have the equation still work. Okay, but I don't see a y right away. That's okay. I remember that f of x is really just another name for y. So next, I'm going to plug in these two values for f of x and for x, which will leave me the following equation. Negative 1 equals a times 1 plus 1, quantity squared minus 3. And what's exciting about this equation is that it's all numbers except for a single variable. So it should be real easy algebra to get this variable by itself, which means then I can at the end plug it back in and write my equation for my answer. Be careful with order of operations at this point. Make sure that you do inside the parentheses, don't multiply anything. And then exponents makes this negative 1 equals a. 2 squared will be 4, so I'm going to go ahead and write the coefficient out front. And now we're just solving. This is baby algebra here. Add 3 to both sides. We get positive 2 equals 4a. Divide by 4 gives me a equals 2 over 4. Don't make the common mistake of calling that 2. It's not 2, it's 1 half. Okay, let me pause for a second. If a is 1 half, does that mean that's my answer? Going back to the question, no, the question says write the equation. So if my answer is going to be an equation, I'll go back to vertex form, which is f of x equals, now I know a, so it's 1 half, times x plus 1, because the h value changes, sine, and minus 3. If you need to hear these steps again, you should pause this video now and take a look at the work, or even rewind to look at it again. If you're ready to move on, let's look at a second example.
write the equation for this parabola. We'll try this one without steps. I remember the first thing that we did before was start with the formula, so here we go. And then I remember that we had to identify two different points. The first point, of course, is the vertex, which in this case is at the point 3, 4, making 3 my h value. So I'm going to plug it in here. And 4, the k value, also going to be plugged in. I'm going to go ahead and do the next step at the same time instead of writing the equation twice. The next step was to find a second point. And I see one pretty conveniently here. You could use this other one as well if you wanted to. And the second point is at 4, 2, which means I'm going to plug in 4 for x. And 2 is going to plug in for f of x, which I know is just another name for y. So the 2 is going to go here, and the 4 is going to go right here. If I actually plug these values in, the equation will look something like this. Don't forget your squared or your negative. From here, it's just a question of solving the rest out. 2 equals a times, well, 4 minus 3 is just 1. 1 squared is 1, so this is really just a. And when I subtract 4 from both sides, I realize that a is negative 2 in this case. And that makes sense, because this is kind of a narrow parabola, and it's facing down. Final answer, though, should be an equation, not just a number. Go back to vertex form. And we get f of x equals negative 2 times x minus 3 squared plus 4. Again, if you want to hear either of these examples again, you should stop here and rewind, or take a moment to make sure you can follow the work. The next video link will give you some examples that you can work out on your own.